Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be all about the brand Skin Proud. So they sent me a PR box with all of their products and I've been trying them out over the past couple of weeks. And yeah, I wanna share it with you. So I guess now um, in Canada, at least they're available at Walmart. I think it is originally a UK brand, but I'm gonna go through all the products and show you textures and give you my overall opinion on each of the products and then the brand as a whole. So if you wanna know more about Skin Proud, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first product I'm going to talk about is their cleanser. Now this is the Velvet Cloud cleanser. Um, it's called the Whip Mousse Cleansing Foam and this is actually a really fun product to use. I'm going to show you guys um, the texture of this product. It does have a fragrance, so if fragrance bothers you then this probably won't work for you, but I have sensitive skin and it doesn't bother me at all. So let me just show you. So it is like this really fun foam. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm a, I'm a super big fan of this product just because it's kind of really fun to apply. Even though it is a foam, it's very gentle on the skin. It's very good if you do have sensitive skin, but I love kind of that foaming format. It does have a fragrance to it, like I said before, but it is very effective at just, you know, cleansing your skin at, in the morning or in the evening. Um, it does remove makeup pretty well, um, but I, with this kind of cleanser, would probably do a double cleanse if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, like use an oil and then use something like this. So that is the cleanser. And so for five fluid ounces, which is like 150 ml, which is pretty normal for a cleanser, it is $13 Canadian, which is a pretty good price. So, you know, as far as just your basic cleanser, um, the surfactants in there are gentle. It uses mainly decal glucoside and then cocoa amidal propyl betaine, which is also good for sensitive skin, gentle cleanser. Um, yeah, so it is just, you know, a normal cleanser. But if you are sensitive to fragrance, like, it might not work for you. Okay, let's take that off my hand, the foam. Okay, the next product that I want to talk about is their refresher. So this is their hydrating face mist. I am like a face mist kind of person. I do like face mist. It's like, so they say that it's a rose water face mist. It does have aloe vera in there, so it is hydrating with aloe vera. It does have rose water, but then it also does have fragrance. So again, if fragrance is gonna bother you, this probably this product line is not gonna work for you. Um, the fragrance I notice is very sweet, like almost like strawberry or watermelon type-esque, but it's just kind of a hydrator face mist. If you do like to use a face mist in your routine, this is a pretty basic one. And it does have some propylene glycol in there, so a little bit of humectant properties as well. Yeah, I mean, nothing really special about this product, but if you're into a face mist situation, you might like this. And this product retails for $11 uh, Canadian for 90 mils or three ounces, so. I mean, these are all pretty low priced items, but that's kind of goes along with selling in Walmart, things are usually less expensive. And the packaging, a lot of the packaging really reminds me of Verst. So next I am gonna talk about their two serums that I received, but I looked on the Walmart website and they also do have a retinol, like 0.5% retinol serum as well. But I just have the Bright Boost serum, which is 2% vitamin C. And then I have the Smooth Talk, which is 2% hyaluronic acid. So the vitamin C does actually contain ascorbic acid. Let me show you the texture. Very strange texture, I think, for a vitamin C serum. It's really liquidy. Like, it's just, you can see it just runs down my skin. And it is a very slippery feeling. I think that it really is just like water and vitamin C. And then it does also have vitamin E in here, and it does have panthenol, so very soothing on the skin. Um, yeah, but if you're looking for a very affordable vitamin C serum, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this one. And I do like the texture of it as far as like being very thin and very light on your skin. So um, I always use vitamin C in my routine, so it's nice to have a very affordable option of vitamin C. So that is their 2% vitamin C. And this retails for $13.74 Canadian um, for 25 mil. So for almost an ounce there. So for in for a vitamin C product, that's very affordable. Okay, now talking about the Smooth Talk one specifically. So this is the 2% Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Uh, let me just show you the texture to start. So this one is a lot thicker. You can see it's like a gel, like it really is a gel. This has glycerin in it. It has propylene glycol. It has the hyaluronic acid. So this is a really good humectant product um, to really lock in that hydration. And then this also does contain the panthenol. So I love that brands are starting to use a lot more panthenol in the products. Um, so both of the serums here had panthenol in it, which is just a really good soothing ingredient on the skin and very smoothing. So this is gonna give you a nice 
smooth texture to your skin, um, lots of hydration, but all these products do have a little bit of fragrance to them. So just keep that in mind. And it's pleasant fragrance, it doesn't bother me. So this one is, again, same as the other serum, 1374 Canadian for 25 mil. Okay, next I wanna talk about their, the Skin Proud Detox Tonic. So this is like a, this is like, this is what makes me think of the Verse packaging. This is the same packaging that Verse, use, Verse uses. So this is their Daily AHA Exfoliating Tonic. So they use 5% lactic acid, or no, it's 5% lactic acid and glycolic acid. So you don't know how much of each they're using, but that's a good balance. Um, then it also does have niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and aloe vera in it. So if you are looking just for, you know, again, a basic exfoliator. So they basically just covered their bases here. You know, we've got our hyaluronic acid, we have our lactic acids, we have our vitamin C products. Um, got a cleanser, moisturizers, everything. So this is a very inclusive skincare line. Um, and you know, everything's vegan and cruelty free and etc. And this retails for 1295 for 145 ml, which is a lot. You'd get a lot of uses out of this and you really want, only want to use it, you know, maybe one or two times a week. And you can use this like at night or in the morning, but you have to make sure you're wearing sunscreen because alpha hydroxy acids make your skin more sensitive to the sun. Okay, let's keep going here. Um, so now I'm gonna move on to their moisturizers and they do have an eye cream. This one is their Bright Eye Fermented Pomegranate Gel Cream. So I've used this a ton actually and let me show you the texture. It is kind of that typical eye cream um, formula where it's a little bit thick but it smooths in right away and you can see how it almost just went into like a gel immediately. So it is a really lovely texture. Um, really nice around the eyes or if you get dry here like I do, I like to use eye creams around here. This actually makes me almost think of the um, the CeraVe, is it CeraVe? Yeah, the CeraVe eye cream. And so that they say that this pomegranate extract is, you know, supposed to be rich in vitamin C and antioxidants, sure, perhaps. But really what's really great for this is the niacinamide does have a lot of smoothing and kind of antioxidant properties there. And then shea butter is really great for nourishing the eye, under eye area as well. Then we do also have vitamin E in here um, and panthenol. But yeah, really it's just the shea butter, glycerin, niacinamide that's really benefiting the skin here. Yeah, but it is a nice eye cream on it. I mean, I've been using it for about a week and a half and I do like it. It does enough for me. Okay, now we're gonna move on to moisturizers. So they have three different moisturizers. Um, and I'm gonna talk about them all. And I guess I'll start with, yeah, I'll start with the daytime one. So this is their Sorbet Skin Everyday Jelly Moisturizer. So this one is, you can see it there, is definitely like a little jelly. It even, it disappeared already. So it is like this gel and it is so thin. I mean like the tiniest bit goes a long, long, long way. Um, and it has a very, very thin texture. It does have a slight fragrance, but again, it doesn't bother me. This now, the fragrance here almost reminds me of the Neutrogena Hydra Boost and the texture does too. And I have, now I've used that during the daytime and yeah, I mean it was pretty nice. Now I think it'd be like really nice, I think it'd be really nice in the summer. In the winter I, need, I do need something a bit more heavy. Um, but what I ended up doing one day is I put the eye cream like kind of all over and then I put the gel cream on top and then my skin was totally fine was dry, like didn't dry out or anything. So that's one way to kind of get around that. Yeah, so they're they, they are, they're saying like it's an oil-free moisturizer. Um, it does have that jelly texture. It has a hyaluronic acid complex, rose floral water, glycerin, butylene glycol. It does have um, dimethicone in there. So yeah, this is just like a very, very basic moisturizer. It, it does have like a big complex of hyaluronic acid, so different polymers and different polymer lengths and everything. Um, but it's just going to be like a good moisturizer to lock in the benefits and the moisture on your skin of whatever else you put in, like your serums and everything. So as far as moisturizers, it's good, it's basic. And that is $12.97 for 1.69 fluid ounces, which is 50 ml, which is pretty, really good actually for a moisturizer. Okay, next is probably gonna be like one of my favorites. Now it's all, it's all messed up because it was sitting on its side. Now this is called the Frozen Over Gel to Ice Hydrator. And I love this because whenever I get out of the shower, I get really kind of hot. And so this actually has a very nice cooling effect on your skin. And they say you can pop it in the freezer for like two to three hours and um, apply it straight from the freezer to depuff. So you could do that like in the morning or something. But yeah, this is just 
the, f- the way that the formula is, it ha- does have a cooling effect on the skin, even if you just use it from room temperature, which I love that. I do really like the texture of this. Let me put some on my hand and show you. I don't know if you can see. Maybe I can get my camera. Like, it's like crystal clear and it is like this thick gel. I can imagine it would get even thicker if you put it in the freezer. So yeah, you can see it does kind of take a longer time to rub in, but it just does have this cooling wet effect on the skin, but it does dry down completely to just be like skin like after like a minute or so. But I have been really liking that one actually. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just gonna be another humectant moisturizer. You have um, the glycerin, dune and glycol, propane diol. They do have a lemon extract in this. They've got aloe leaf juice, they have the same hyaluronic acid complex that's in the sorbet skin one. Um, so I think that you could probably get away with like one or the other. Maybe you don't need both. And then they have some other plant extracts, but it is a really nice one. And this one is more expensive actually. It's $15.97 for 50 ml. So it's more expensive than the sorbet one. I didn't realize that. Okay, and then the last moisturizer is their nighttime over overnight moisturizer. And this is called the Skin Proud Sleep Hero Overnight Sleep Mask. And this one is $12.97 for 50 ml, so same as the Sorbet one. And they say that there's two ways to use this product. So you can use it as a wash off mask, like a hydrating mask. Obviously more of a cream, you can see that. So yeah, they say that you can use it two ways. Um, you can either use it as like a thick layer on your skin. So kind of, you know, to that degree, um, leave it on for 15 minutes and wash it off for like instantly moisturizing effects or you can apply a thinner layer and it does it does go in right away like you can see I've just massaged that in and it's going in nicely yeah so you can just wear it overnight as like your moisturizer um, and wake up with really radiant skin oh I'm saying that it reminds me of the Laneige overnight um, overnight mask the overnight sleeping mask with Centella but this one it is thicker um, it has glycerin shea butter so that is really nice it does have niacinamide, it's got avocado oil, so it's got more oils in it. it, has a raspberry fruit extract, has vitamin E, it has cranberry seed oil, so it does have more plant oils in there, it's got the niacinamide, it has the shea butter, so it is a really nice formula. Um, it does have a red dye and a blue dye, because it's obviously purple, so that comes from somewhere. But yeah, that is, it is a nice product, and it's really nice for winter. So the last product that I'm going to talk about is something that I think is probably their most innovative or new all the other products that I've mentioned we've seen before we've seen you know we've seen these cleansers these face mists these serums the alpha hydroxy alpha hydroxy acid toner we've seen you know all these types of moisturizers before but this one really caught my eye and I've been using this one and it is like actually cool so it's a clay mask that you actually just wipe on you wipe it on your skin dry skin clean dry skin and then you let it dry for like five to ten minutes but I just love that because normally with a clay mask like you have to dip your fingers in and it can get all dirty and stuff but this you can just look apply it directly to exactly where you want it and I just love that it smells really good it does have a fragrance like I said everything has a fragrance so this is called their unplug pore detox clay mask so this is my favorite product by them I mean like out of all the products I think this one actually is new I've never seen a format like this I think it's pretty cool um, let me know if there is another product like this that I just am ignorant to maybe. So this is for 35 grams or 1.23 ounces. It's $12. It's got um, pink clay, pomegranate oil, and alpha hydroxy acid. So yeah, we've got the kaolin, purple and glycol, glycerin. We've got the pomegranate seed oil, barrage oil, and it's got phytic acid in there. So you're supposed to just apply an even layer to your skin, a thin even layer and then let it dry and then rinse it off. And yeah, I've used it a couple times and it actually is really nice, so. There you go. So that is all the products by Skin Proud that I received. Um, I think overall it is a pretty fragrance brand, so if fragrance bothers you, you, you might not like it. I'm not bothered by any of the fragrances. I mean, sometimes if I apply a bunch of the products in a row, it's a bit much for me, um, but really I don't mind it too much. I think that product formulations are sound. You know, they are like all your basic formulas that we've seen before at a very affordable price, which I think is great. I think this is great for um, teens or young adults that are just starting to get into skincare and kind of need the whole works of um, a routine. So, you know, every product that you could think of for your routine. But yeah, I actually am quite impressed with just the quality of the products. Um, when I received it, I thought it was gonna be more like a like 
a kid's brand, but I mean, the formulas are sound. It's perfect for everyone from, you know, kids to adults. Lots of antioxidants in there, lots of use of great oils. Uh, things like shea butter, we've got our acids in there, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, like, what more could you ask for? Now, I don't know if they have a sun sunscreen or anything. I didn't see a sunscreen, so I don't think they have that. But for as far as just your basic skincare, I do think it's a good brand. And I think that it is quite affordable, which is great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It definitely is a little bit long, but I wanted to cover all the textures and prices and everything of this brand, Skin Proud. And yeah, have you tried out Skin Proud? Are you interested in trying it out, perhaps? I mean, just for the price of the formulas, I think it's definitely worth a shot. Yeah, and I'm definitely going to continue to use these products. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.